Hello students how are you all I hope all of you are doing really well In the previous class students we were discussing our story about a little girl do you remember yes who did not like her father at all her father always used to scold her and also give orders to her like where is my cup of tea where is the newspaper so and also he used to talk very loudly because of which the little girl was afraid of her father the students today let's see what turn that the story take and let's begin the mcdonalds lived next door they had five children looking through a gap in the fence the little girl saw them playing tag in the evening so you can see in the picture students how the neighbor of this little girl they were playing with the children and she is looking through the fence the father with the baby mao on his shoulders two little girls hanging on to his coat pockets ran round and round the flower beds shaking with laughter so this description is basically about how they were having fun in the evening and how they were spending time together once she saw the boys turn the hose on him and he tried to catch them laughing all the time then it was she decided they were different sort of fathers now when kezia saw that this family is having a very good time with her with their father so she thought maybe i am not having such kind of father and maybe there are different kind of fathers some are really playing happy cheerful and some fathers just like the way i have are really you know they are very scary they are they are the figure to be feared so she had this thought in the mind suddenly one day mother became ill and she and grandmother went to hospital the little girl was left alone in the house with alice the cook so the name of the cook is alice that was all right in the daytime but while alice was putting her to bed she grew suddenly afraid so as i told you mother was not feeling well so she had to go to the hospital with the grandmother and kezia and alice were alone in the house obviously with the father what i will do if i have a nightmare she asked no nightmare is a bad dream so this little girl is worried that if she sleeps alone she might have a bad dream i often have nightmares and then granny takes me into her bed I can't stay in the dark it all gets very whispery so this little girl is afraid that she will have a bad dream and she cannot sleep alone it gets really scary at night right because she had a habit of sleeping with grandmother granny the granny is nobody else but grandmother you just go to sleep child said alice pulling off her socks and don't you scream and wake your poor pa but the same old nightmare came the butcher with a knife and a rope who came nearer and nearer smiling that dreadful smile while she could not move could only stand still crying out grandma grandma so as she had thought that she will have a nightmare or a bad dream the same thing happened the old dream that she always used to see that a butcher is coming near her with a rope and a knife and the same dream came to her and she was so scared that she started to cry cry means shouting in a loud voice grandma grandma where are you like this she started to cry she woke shivering to see father beside her bed a candle in his hand what's the matter he said so as as soon she woke up shivering is you know shaking with fear she was very much scared with the dream so she saw that her father has come and he is holding a candle in his hand oh a butcher a knife i want granny he blew out the candle bent down and caught up the child in his arms carrying her along the passage to the to, to the big bedroom 
so students as you can see in the picture how grand like how uh, father is holding the little girl the kezia a newspaper was on the bed he put away the paper then carefully tucked up the child he lay down beside her so he has taken him taken kezia to a big bedroom and he is spending time with kezia okay tucked up means covered up nicely in a bed so he is trying to cuddle and snuggle so that kezia feels better she forgets the dream that she has just had half asleep still still with the butcher's smile all about her it seemed she crept close to him snuggled her head under his arm held tightly to his shirt snuggle me to move into a warm position close to some other person okay and here the person is no nobody else but the father of this little girl then the dark did not matter she lay still here rub your feet against my legs and get them warm said father so students you can see how caring the father has become and he is saying that don't worry child everything will be fine you just rub your feet against my legs you it will get warmer you will feel better you don't have to worry everything will be fine so he is trying to you know uh, calm down the little girl he is showing a fatherly love a fatherly concern for this little girl and it's really beautiful tired out he slept before the little girl a funny feeling came over her poor father not so big after all and with no one to look after him he was harder than grandmother but it was a nice hardness so uh, he the father has slept before the girl could sleep because father went to office and obviously he was tired so as soon as he was on the bed he slept and the girl started this little girl kezia she started to think that poor father matlab like he is not so big after all so she is having a soft corner for him and she is thinking that he was harder than grandmother harder in the sense that skin okay generally grandmothers they have very soft skin but like fathers and generally male they have hard skin so she is comparing the skin of grandfather uh, grand grandmother and her father and she is thinking that though the skin of my father is hard but it is nice hardness she didn't mind that hardness okay okay let's see now and every day he had to work and was too tired to be a mr mcdonald she had torn up all his beautiful writing she stirred suddenly and sighed what's the matter asked her father another dream so her father is asking what happened did you see another dream oh said the, the little girl my head is on your heart i can hear it going what a big heart you have got father dear means dear father so little girl has realized that she loves her father a lot and it is just because of the you know mistakes that she has been doing in the past she got scolded from her father and she realized it was her mistake and both have really you know understood each other the love of a father and a daughter and the daughter is saying that father you have a very very big heart it means i th used to think that you are hard you are heartless but no i was wrong you really are very caring person you have a big heart the students this was a very interesting story of a little girl and how she developed feelings for her father gradually that feeling of you know uh, being a giant it took a turn it evolved and suddenly she real she realizes that her father has a very big heart okay so now let's solve some questions from your book question 1 is why was kezia afraid of her father so we have discussed all this before Kezia was afraid of her father because he used to talk to her harshly. He was in habit of finding out her mistakes and giving her orders. Right? I hope all of you remember. Yes. Next question. Who were the people in Kezia's family? All of you know, right? 
Kezia's family had her grandmother, mother and father. Why was Kezia, what was Kezia's father's routine? So you have to tell what was her father's routine before going to office, after coming back from his office and on Sundays. So on these occasions, what was her father's routine? So her father's routine before going to office was to kiss Kezia casually. And after coming from office, he would ask for the newspaper and tea after coming back from his office. And on Sunday, what was his routine? On Sundays, he would take rest. He would enjoy a sound sleep on the sofa. Like I told you, remember that how mother used to read newspaper and how father used to lie down on sofa and snoring and keeping his legs on the best cushions and keeping a handkerchief on, her, on his face, right? So this is the same scene that we are talking about. Okay, next question. In what ways did Kezia's grandmother encourage her to get to know her father better? So, you remember I told you grandmother used to tell Kezia, please go and sit with your father on Sundays. Why do you think she did that? Kezia's grandmother encouraged her to get to know her father better by sending her to the drawing room to talk to her parents on Sundays. She also suggested Kezia to make a gift of a pin cushion on her father's birthday. Good. Next, let's see. How did the father comfort the little girl, Kezia, when she got scared in her sleep? So right now we were discussing students, right? No, right? Okay. The father came to Kezia's room with a candle lifted her up in his strong arms, lay beside her and made her stay close to him. She held his shirt and snuggled herself close to her father. This confronted Kezia when she got scared in her sleep. Okay, understood? So, we will quickly see the summary of this chapter so that all the things that we have discussed in the previous class and what we have discussed today, it gets connected and you remember the whole story. Okay, so I'm going to tell you the summary of this chapter. Kezia was a little girl. She feared her father. She thought that her father was like a giant. He had big hands and a big neck. His mouth was also very big and especially when he yawned, right? She always avoided him. She thought that he was very cruel. In the evening, the little girl's father came back. He spoke loudly in the house. Kezia feared her father's loud voice. Her mother would ask her to go and take off his shoes. When she entered his room, he looked at her sternly. Kezia thought that her father was a hard-hearted person. Hard-hearted means very, you know, someone who is not very loving. Kezia's father worked in an office. He went to his office in the morning. Before going, he went to the little girl's room and gave her a casual kiss. The father went to the office in a carriage. Carriage is the maybe car or bike or anything that he used to drive, he used to take to his office. Means a means of transport. She felt very happy when she heard the noise of the carriage growing fainter and fainter. So she could hear that the car is or the whatever transport it is, it's moving far and far and far. So she felt very happy. Oh, I'm free now. I have nobody in the house to be scared of. She used to feel very happy. Even when my father left for office, I used to be very happy because I used to get watch television when he left for office. Otherwise, I could not watch television in his presence. Okay. One day, Kezia made a pincushion. She wanted to present it to her father on his birthday. She wondered what she should use to stuff the pincushions. She found some sheets of paper in her father's room. She tore the sheets to stuff the pincushion. 
her father had written an important speech on them. When the papers were nowhere to be found, there was a hue and cry in the house. Okay. Later, when he got to know that Kesha had torn them, he got very angry at her. I told you, right? She tore the papers and it was very important paper. So, he got very, very, very annoyed. He took a stick and beat her severely. He told her not to touch anything that did not belong to her. Kesha wept bitterly. She wondered why God had made fathers. Now she trembled even at the sight of her father. One day Kezia saw her neighbour, Mr. MacDonald. He was playing with his children. They all looked very happy. But Kezia's father never played with her. Now she thought that there were different kind of fathers in this world. Her own father was very cruel. She compared her father to Mr. MacDonald, who was very playful and cheerful. And she thought that my father is very cruel. He never plays with us. So she got really, really, you know, she had a, a feeling of comparison in her. After a few days, Kezia's mother became ill. Her grandmother took her to the hospital. Kezia was alone in the house with the cook. She had to sleep alone in her bedroom. At night, she had a horrible dream. She saw that there was a butcher with a knife. She was terrified. She started to cry and she gave a loud cry. She, call, she uh, was calling for her grandmother. I told you, right? Grandma, grandma. She was saying like this. Her father came into her room. He lifted her and took her to his own bed. She lay beside her father. He was tired and he fell asleep before her. She was lost in thoughts. She thought that he had to work hard every day. He came in the evening and then he was too tired to play with her. She thought that it was her fault to tear those important papers. She realized that her father was not bad. He had a big and loving heart. So, right now that we have discussed, she had rationalized her wrongdoings. She knew that it was her fault and her father is not that bad. Her father is very loving. He has a big heart. Okay, students. So, I'm, I'm sure you have understood the summary of this chapter. Now, let's see some more questions from your book. Discuss these questions in class with your teacher and then write down your answers in two or three paragraphs each. So students, these questions are quite lengthy. You know, these are long answer type questions. The ones we were discussing before were short answer type questions. Okay, so we will see one by one. Keja's efforts to please her father resulted in displeasing him very much. How did this happen? So this particular question is talking about how she made a pincushion to surprise him but later he got angry and she got scolded so we will see in detail the answer okay let's see as suggested by her grandmother kezia decided to make a pincushion out of a piece out of a beautiful piece of yellow silk for her father's birthday after stitching three sides of the cushion with great care and effort, Kezia was stuck as to what to fill the cushion with. Then finally, she discovered sheets of paper on the bed table. She gathered these, tore them up and filled the cushion with the torn pieces. Unfortunately, her efforts to please her father not only went in vain, because the sheets she had torn were her father's important speech. Her father scolded her for touching things that did not belong to her and punished her by hitting her palm with a ruler. Okay? The word vain students here means of no use, means showing no result. Now let's see the second question students. Kezia decides that there are different kinds of fathers. 
what kind of father was Mr. McDonald? And how was he different from Kezia's father? One day, Kezia saw them playing tag while the baby, Mao, was seated on his shoulders. And the two girls hung to his pockets, coat pockets, and happily ran around the flower beds. Mr. McDonald was different from her father. He was not strict. He played with his children and they laughed all the while. So, students, the name of the baby is Mao. Okay. And playing tag. Tag is a game that we, in India, we call it chain. Okay. On the other hand, Kezia's father was always angry at her. He remained busy with work and later was too tired that he slept most of the time. He stared at her, scolded her for stammering and being silly. He was a very strict father. Okay, understood how she compared her father to, Ke to uh, McDonald? Yes. How does Kezia begin to see her father as human being who needs her sympathy? So this question is talking about how did Kezia changed her feeling towards her father? How and when did she realize that her father has a big heart? Because earlier she used to think that my father is very hard hearted and rough and cruel person. So this question is regarding that. Okay, let's see the answer. One day, when grandmother and mother were at the hospital, Alice put Kezia to sleep all alone. Alice is the cook, right? Kezia saw the same nightmare of a butcher with a knife, a rope and a dreadful smile. Dreadful is scary smile. Kezia screamed and called her grandmother. Upon hearing her screams, her father woke up. He was holding a candle and lifted Kezia in his arms. He took her to his room and comforted her. He lay Kezia in his bed and told her to rub her feet against his legs to make them warm. Kezia felt his affection and snuggled towards him. Kezia realized that her father worked really hard and was a tired poor man who needed sympathy and concern. Okay, sympathy means, to, to, and sympathy and concern mean who also needed love and care. There was no one to look after him. Although he was big and not so soft as grandmother, Kezia realized that he loved her and she had affection for him. So at the end, Kezia has finally realized that her father really loves, loves her. He has feelings, good feelings for her and he is always showing concern and affection. But what happens? Since he is always at office, he is always working, by the time he comes back to his home, he is too tired to spend time with anyone. He is too tired to play with Kezia. And all these things the Kezia realizes and she has affection for her father. This is the end of the story, students. I am sure all of you have connected to the story because this is not just Kezia's story. We all are have facing the same, you know, how our parents scold us or something or the other. And we don't understand the what our parents are going through, why they are asking us to do so. This is a story that everybody has at their home. So we should also learn from the story that we should not only see our part of the story we should also see what our parents are going through why they are seeing us to do this what are the reason behind their actions once we realize and once we see these things we will know that they are they want nothing but our happiness they want nothing but to love us and show affection for us so this is the end of the story students and next class we will meet soon till then bye and take care